Welcome back to Ultimate Gaming. Today we're taking a look at a game called From Space. This is a multiplayer demo of the game. It's going to be myself and Duckfat, the ever-famous Duckfat that you guys have seen on this channel a number of times. We're going to be taking a look at the game. <laughs> we're going to be taking a look at the game, and it's an isometric shooter with a fair amount of progression, supposedly. I have not played the game at all yet. And uh, customize your character, make your squad unique, find perks, all that good stuff. But let's take a look, let's get started here so we can see what this is all about. At the end of the video, we're going to have pros, cons, and final thoughts on the on the game, on the experience. Ready? So we're going to start off by taking a look at settings. Uh, we're going to graphic settings. Nothing deep here, nothing crazy. Anti-aliasing, that's really it for graphic settings. One thing that does bug me is the... That little noise, hear that? Guess what? They have a setting to remove that, that little uh, GUI volume. I, I, it kind of bugs me a little bit, especially in the headphones. So I do like seeing that 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 is removable. One thing I'm disappointed in here is I see we cannot change the keybinds for any of the settings. I hope that's just because of the demo. It's quite important nowadays that we have the ability to change our keybinds, right? Um, we'll see. Maybe in the full game that'll that'll be a thing. I'll see if I can uh, poke around a little bit and get some information on whether or not that is actually going to be included in the main game. But let's get started here. I'm going to hit start and get Duck Fat invited to the game and we can uh, kill some aliens. Some aliens and all that good stuff. See what the game's all about after this loading screen. There we are. Okay, invite friend. Uh, duck fat. So he's gonna get in here. Oh, that was quick. He's already in here. Ah, so you can join right through Steam without the invite. That's good. I am going to lower the sound effects just a little bit more. The sound of that flame is kind of loud. I have collected. Still kind of loud. Duck has beautiful pigtails and he's very clippy right now his movement oh that's a bummer hopefully this oh you invite from here too that seems kind of pointless this is a, a way to invite friends right from there it's kind of pointless considering we can just invite from the steam menu but okay Emerge. Okay, that's that's a little excessive with the, how fast we can melee. Uh, uh oh. How do you shoot? Uh, I just used a heal. God. Okay. Number one's a heal. That's still very loud for me. I'm, I'm gonna. So it looks like the networking is not great right now. Um, he is in Hawaii and I am in New Jersey, but we've co-opted a million times in a ton of games. We'll see if network... Uh, I'll try again with someone that's a little bit closer just to see if it happens to be a network thing. I don't know. Um, or, I mean, a distance thing for the networking. Either way, it's not acceptable. That That's something that definitely needs to be addressed. If the networking is that bad, that this is how it's going to gonna be that's it's just gonna be a lot of people are gonna refund this thing they're not gonna end up playing it and that's gonna hurt the uh the game's reviews for sure so i'm hoping to see this addressed with some better networking but we'll see again i'll, I'll test it with someone a little closer and we'll see if it uh has any impact at all so i don't know what we're actually collecting here I think I have an RPG. Are you seeing the items that I collect? Oh, you're getting them too. I see you have an RPG. Oh, maybe I picked it up and you got it as well? What are we collecting from the bodies? We're getting, uh... Getting some sort of pink orbs. I'm wondering if it's filling that pink bar here. The pistol is shooting as fast as I can click, so 
you do have to kind of get crazy on your mouse there. Shop. Uh-oh. Melee! What? Where'd my melee go? What? What the? No, when I right-click... Hold on. When I right-click, I get that little T-pose real fast. Look at it. Oh no, it went away. No, it's not doing it. It's just taking- it's just putting my weapon away. Okay, so the game's a little buggy. It's, it's in a demo and an alpha. Do you see this health pack here? Okay, so we both get to collect our own thing, I think. Is that flashing when I hit it? Yes, it is. It broke. Ah, so that pink bar is filling up. I don't know what... Yo, a minigun! What do you mean, item collected? Where'd it go? What the heck is that? Uh oh, oh, we're trapped in here. RPG! It doesn't? Yeah, one of my questions is, like, why all the pink? <laughs> why not a little bit of variety on the, uh, the enemies? Like, it, and it's an easy way to do it. Like, just throw in some color, you know? Rather than just pink. So, I don't know. Just, uh, it seems a little odd that, that everything is just supposed to be pink. Pink is evil. I mean, it, it feels good to play. I mean, probably not from your perspective. It's probably pretty pretty laggy and it feels a little gross and delayed, but... The shooting for me feels very responsive. It, it actually feels good, but... This game's all about the co-op. Like, I'm telling you, if this game was single player, I would never touch it. That's just my, my honest opinion. I have really, really enjoyed co-op games. I have fun playing them. And I'm always looking for, uh, you know, a fun co-op game to play. Like, even something that's you know, relatively a little bit more on the simpler side like this, like that, it, it's not a bad thing. Something that's just simple to pick up and, and, you know, get in there and just start throwing down real fast, you know? It's, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I don't mind these type of games. But, I want them to work. <laughs> so if, if this is really going to be like a problem with networking, then, you know, I, unfortunately I would have to pass on the game. But, we're going to find out. We're going to do some more local play with someone that's a little closer to me, and we're gonna press the devs a little bit, see if networking's gonna get a little bit of love, so we, uh, maybe can expect something a little more, I don't know, responsive and a little more, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? I don't know, it approves of long distance co-op. <laughs> Maybe we'll find that at, at release, but I'm gonna press him on it. I'll let you guys know if I get a response from the devs and, uh, what it looks like. I want to see if we can actually, like, complete this level, what it looks like. We gotta find a lost... Oh! Lost prototype weapon. It's supposed to be, like, perks and stuff. I'm not really sure what that looks like. They claimed, like, someone can be tanky while everyone else does a lot of damage, and... What the heck is that? Charge a prototype weapon! Do it, damn it! <laughs> ah!
What? Oh, I missed. So what happened to that minigun I was supposed to have? Oh, I used my ammo. Hell yeah. Oh, PG! Well, that did the trick. I had like an ammo pack on number one. Holding Q. Okay, I see. So we're dumping our uh, our pink resource thing into this. That's that pink bar that's uh, depleting. All right. So we don't have enough yet. We gotta go get some more pink juice. That's right, pink juice. I wonder if the- Ah! Hit tab! There we are. There's another minigun over here. Is that more ammo for it? I don't know. I think I already got it. Pink juice. Hey, give me a big horde. I want to mow him down with a, with a minigun. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Minigun time. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, is it following us now? Sick. Oh, the minigun's cool. Oh, they're overheat? <laughs> Minigun's pretty fun. No more enemies? Hoping for some more. How many players does this game support? I don't know. We'll find out too. At the end of the video, I'll definitely uh, let you guys know all the info I can scrounge up. Networking, if we'll see some uh, improvements. Because as you can see, he's still, Duckfat's still kind of clipping along there. Not smooth. I'm sure it, it, it feels really bad on his end. I don't know. How does it feel when you're when you're shooting st and stuff? Oh, so like the bullet hits them, then they take the damage like a second later. Ah! Can you gun go? Oh, they attacking? I think. Yo, hands off, you little bastards. Little UI bug when you uh, use your ammo pack. You gotta, like, switch off the weapon and switch back to see the, uh, the ammo actually uh, get. So take a look at the handgun ammo right there. So see where it says 12? I'm gonna shoot a bit. Now I'm gonna reload. Still says 5, right? When I take a shot, it'll go back to 11. But another way to get that to appear is to swap. It's just a... It's actually reloading properly. It's just a, uh, a UI bug. Early demo. Early alpha, right? That's understandable. Very minor thing. You know, I kind of wish there were... There was a map. I mean, the map seems pretty big, though. I mean, we're... Going all over the place. Oh. 
Mini gun, go! I, I like the little screen shake when I use the minigun. I generally don't like screen shake, but it, it's pretty cool. Oh, what is this thing? This thing's like sucking up pink juice. Music starts kicking up uh, to a nice track when uh, all ton of enemies spawn. It's pretty cool. Oh, no time for messing around. Oh no, duck went down. There's really a lot of enemies here. Oh. Thank God there's no friendly fire. I would have just mowed you down if there was. So I have a feeling we're going to be in here forever unless we kill the things that this worm-like structure is siphoning from. Oh, come on, minigun. Stop overheating on me. This is actually kind of fun. This is not, this is not bad at all, I gotta be real. Oh no. Oh, you got a timer to revive? Is it higher than it was the last time? Hmm. No. Dude, I don't know how we're gonna gonna do this. Yeah, we do have a lot of that pink stuff now. Maybe we can, uh... Maybe we can complete it. <laughs> we gotta call backup. Hopefully this is four-player co-op. This would be fun. With a team of four, this would be some dumb fun. I would actually really enjoy this. I hope this is four-player co-op. I think it is. They do not stop! Go, 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 go. I'm going to that prototype thing. Good luck to you. Oh, I think we kept it in, like, the receive mode, so it didn't follow us or something? Alright, so I'm gonna take it off of that mode, and it should follow us. Okay. It's coming with me. It's it's damn close to being done. If you happen to make it, we'll probably complete it. Now, where'd you go? Alright, I switched to an RPG. Is this thing still, like, trying to siphon? Alright, I broke one of the crystal things. Oh, it's not happy about that. Oh, it's really not happy about that. I 
don't think I was supposed to bring that here. <laughs> Uh-oh. I think I made a mistake by bringing this here. Pretty sure they're taking the stuff we put in there out. They definitely are. Alright, so we gotta pull it away. Almost done this prototype weapon thing. If you get over to it and put all your stuff in there, we should be good. It's right up there. Is it done? Oh no, we need just a bit more. like almost nothing all right oh destroy the alien nest with the prototype weapon okay so we're good it's this is actually the nest oh so we got to bring it fully charged into this circle no you don't you little bastards doing its thing. Is it gonna kill us? I'm gonna stay here and find out. Oh, man. Oh, that's bright. Damn. Oh, okay, we did it. Coming up, coming up in From Space online... Online co-op. We already got that. Over the top weaponry. Customize your character. That's good. So Duck doesn't have to play Pigtails Girl. Endless Horde Alien. Satisfying progression. Much, much more to come. So I think the progression thing's not even in the game yet. So we're supposed to be able to get perks and stuff like that. So real quick, I'm just going to read. Online co-op. Satisfying progression through perks that change the way you play. Uh, over the top weaponry. Customize your character. Make your squad unique. They had this. Progression. Which caught my eye. One day is fun, but there's more to it. Throughout the world, you can discover perks that will change the behavior of your character and weapons. Turn yourself into the ultimate tank that takes the brunt that takes the brunt of any attack while your buddies are set to do maximum damage. You'll need to find ways to combat increasingly more powerful aliens, and perks is the way to do this. No worries, no choice is permanent, and all perks can be swapped between teammates. Interesting. I wonder if it's like actual real progression, like we can end the game for the day, and then the next day we come back, we still have our levels, our perks, whatever it may be, and we can go from there. Or is it going to be like every time we start a game over, you start from the beginning? I hope it's the former, where you can actually truly progress your, your account and then come back the next day and still continue from where you were. Um, interesting game. It actually felt pretty good. We're going to move on to the, uh, the pros, cons, and final thoughts portion of the video. Let's do this. Hey guys, so I know I said I was going to the pros, cons, and final thoughts portion of the video, but we decided there were some other players uh, that were online, so we can we can test this again, test networking just a little bit. This is going to be a short portion of the clip here. This player here is actually my brother. He's in the same household, so he's local, very close. You can see he's moving quite smooth. And then check out the player from Hawaii, Duckfat, who is going to come out of this building. Look at the difference between these two players. 
So networking needs work. Now you might be saying, well of course he's gonna lag, he's playing from Hawaii. We've been playing games together for nearly a decade. It is very rare that we see games really cause issues from, from long distance like that. I have uh, a player, my, my main group of players is New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Australia, all four of us. And we play co-op games together, no problem. Very long distance, obviously. And we all play, all four of us play just fine. A whole slew of co-op games. Every once in a while, I'd say like one out of 20 to 50 games we play, we'll be like, wow, the networking is not great. This is one of them. Now, I just want to stress one more time, this is an alpha early demo. The networking may see some love. It may get some improvement. All right, so uh, fine example, right? Mr. T over here is the local player, and this is the Hawaii player, the pigtails girl. See the difference? Okay, so we're gonna move on now. Pros, cons, final thoughts, let's go. The pros, cons, and final thoughts for From Space. The game plays quite smoothly. Shooting feels great. Um, I had a good time playing because it felt the movement felt so good the shooting felt good it played fantastically on a on a mouse and keyboard it doesn't feel like it needs a controller or anything of the sort i definitely prefer a mouse and keyboard it just plays well and i think that's very important for this type of game it just it has to feel good to play and the game does a good job of that weapon upgrades are awesome other than like mowing down hordes with a minigun it's it feels good. The minigun feels good. The RPG did work. It would mow down large groups of enemies. And I know there's more fantasy-esque type weapons, like laser weapon stuff planned. So that's cool. I'd like to see what that does. Maybe like a chain lightning laser. You know, you shoot something and it bounces. That'd be cool. I'm all, I'm all for that type of... Uh, a little bit more spacey type of weapons. I mean, obviously the game supports that environment, right? Uh, a progression system. I didn't expect it in this game. Uh, a game like this. The demo didn't have the progression system, but it's already confirmed to be in, in place. And, well, be planned, I should say. Not in place right now. Uh, it is planned. And it's going to be uh, a progression system that persists through runs but not on your account so to clarify that once a little further without that confusion is you can start a game you start a campaign in a way right and you keep playing as you normally would through a game and you keep progressing your character like unlocks and stuff like that but if you start a new campaign from the beginning you're gonna be back to zero you gotta still level again i like that it's just like starting a new game and and starting from level from from zero so it's not like an account based thing so if i host a game and my friends join they'll progress with me but if they go start a new game on their own they're going to be at zero but they can come back and join me again and they're back to where what they were at i like that works just fine uh character customization is planned uh right away when duck joined he was like oh i gotta be the pigtail girl he wants to customize his character i'm all for that um i think that's a good a good addition to the game and four-player co-op is confirmed. That should be uh, uh, a good time with four people mowing down hordes of aliens. And then control rebinding. I went and checked for you guys. Uh, the developer was able, or one of the developers was able to confirm that, yes, we'll be able to rebind controls or key binds, whatever wording you want to use for it. We can change it. Good stuff. Cons. Uh, the networking certainly needs work. Now... I want to address something that you guys are probably thinking. Oh, you're probably a crappy host. Your your host is your upload speed is probably horrible. That is a fair assumption to make. It's in fact that's kind of what the dev said as soon as they said it. Like, oh, you know, it's going to be based off your since it's peer to peer networking. It's going to be based off your your hosting capabilities and stuff. That's the right answer. He's not wrong. That's the right answer because you don't really know who you're talking to if if the person's knowledgeable what their network's like. I'll tell you guys right now. It's not my network. I have a gigabit upload speed. Um, it's not port related. It's not firewall related. Uh, UPnP is enabled. DMZ even. I ch tested with that, which if you guys don't know what that is, that just means that opens all ports. It's not good for network security, but it's good for testing stuff like this. Uh, I tried it with that. Firewall's off, everything. 
it is not the host. It's, it's not me. Trust me. Um, the reason for this is just tonight alone. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Remnant from the Ashes, another game. Love it. Love the game. Um, was playing co-op tonight with the same person, Duck Fat, and one of my Australian guild members. So it's New Jersey to Hawaii to Australia. It's probably one of the worst network conditions you could ever be in. Game runs flawlessly. Runs perfect, just fine. There is work to be done on this networking. It is. It is the game. There is guaranteed there is work that can be done. And the devs said they're going to try. They pretty much said that they're look, they'll look to optimize it and stuff. And they didn't, they didn't like brush me off like, oh, bro, it's your fault. They didn't. They really didn't. Uh, the dev um, kind of started with that. Like, hey, you know, make sure you're, you, you have the capability of hosting. That's, a, again, that's fair. That's more than fair. I understand that. That's, that's a right approach. But it's the game. <laughs> the game's got work to do for networking. So if you're playing long distance, you're going to have problems. Currently, right now. I hope that's improved. Wrist pain waiting to happen. The handgun shoots as fast as you can click, and it only shoots when you click. If you click and hold, it's one shot, and it will wait until you click again. So it's as fast as you can, as fast as you possibly can. That is not good for a, a game where you're going to constantly be doing that and you're trying to do it as much as possible to preserve ammo because that's infinite ammo on that gun. You only pull out your big guns when, you know, crap hits the fan, right? When things get a little little spicy, there's a lot of aliens. I would change that. I would definitely change that uh, because the other thing people are going to do is use like an auto clicker where they can just hold down left click, then disable it with a, another button. Like you could set up macros to do that type of stuff and then disable that when you pull out your minigun and then you use, you know, your, your minigun in full auto and then you swap back to the handgun, put your macro back on and pe people are going to do that. That should not be a thing. And you know what? Is it cheating a little bit? But I cannot blame them. I don't want people to like physically damage their wrists, which is a legitimate, legitimate concern in these type of games. More so than games like Diablo. Diablo's got a lot of clicking. Love Diablo. Favorite games got a lot of kicking. Uh, kicking. Clicking. This game will put Diablo 2's click count to shame. It's a, a tremendous amount of clicking in this game. And fast. It's not just like click, click, click. It's, you know, as fast as you possibly can. That that damages your wrist. That's got to change. If you if it's got to be like, oh, you hold down left click, the, the gun will only fire a max of three bullets a second. You can hold down left click to do that. That's fine. And you can never click to shoot faster than that. Because if you can click to shoot faster than three a second, people still have to do that to play the most efficiently. I think holding left click and shooting at a certain limit is acceptable. That's what the game should do. Hope that changes. And then I was just thinking, like, why is everything pink? It just, it kind of gets a little bland. Like, it just mix it up. You could even color code difficulty of the enemies like okay they start off pink you run into red ones you run into blue ones and they, they're they're just different they're different colors they're they reward a different amount of those the drops you need for the final weapon the experimental weapon thing and i don't know it just mixes it up it gives it a little variety it's just kind of weird that everything in the game is kind of like almost black and pink almost i don't know Thought it was a little weird. That's why I put it at the bottom. It's not a real big deal at all. It's not a game breaking thing at all. I just I don't know. I just don't understand the choice. I, I guess I don't understand it. But final thoughts. Uh, with a proper progression system, some attention to the networking, and a competitive price point of ten to fifteen dollars, this could easily be a must have for fans of co op games. That competitive price point is, I think, is important. This game starts hitting like the $25 range. And I don't think a lot of people will go for it. Especially when you need four people to buy it so you can all play like in a, in a group. That's going to be a tough sell. Because if, like my group, we all buy games together. We'll buy like four of us, we'll pick up the games together. 
maybe one or two of us will pick up pick it up at 25 and the rest will be like ah the other two will be like i'll wait for a sale and that's a fair it's a fair i don't know route route to take i guess wait for the sale if it's 25 dollars. i think i think that might be a little pricey for this type of game so i think hitting that competitive price point is going to be important it's a lot of competition in indie games and I just don't want to see this game shoot itself in the foot with a high high asking price right off the bat. And I think it's important to have a competitive price point on launch because that's when most of the, you get a lot of eyes on your game, right? And a lot of people will brush it off at $25. They won't even add it to wish list. They won't come back for sales. But if they see the game at like 10 bucks, when a lot of eyes see the game when it first launches on Steam, that's when a lot of people first look at it, you know? I think it'll sell quite well at $10. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the first look and pros, cons, final thoughts, my, my opinions on the game. I hope you enjoyed that. I sure enjoyed playing it. And uh, yeah, if you like the content, like, subscribe. Always appreciate that. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Skidat!